Um, so I am on the floor of my living room doing a very, 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 very quick empties. I look rough, ignore it. I spent all of yesterday doing these braids and I just finished them this morning. So they're still wet from when I did them. All right, we're gonna start the empties. So I have my Ultra Biotin, my Liquid Biotin. I just finished this yesterday. Um, for my hair growth challenge, I was going to be using this throughout the year of 2019, but unfortunately I won't be able to get another bottle until, for like another week or so. Um, I don't have time to order it because I am leaving for New York for my internship. I might do a video on that at some point, maybe. Um, but I'm doing this so that I don't bring a bag of trash basically to someone's house because I'm getting an Airbnb. Alright, so I finished this baby Eco Styler Gel. I think in one of my hauls you would have seen that I got a full one. I finished, I think, I don't know if this was in my last empties. If there's repeats from my last empties, I apologize. This is the Grapeseed Fusion Oil from Curly and Free. So far, this is my absolute favorite. This is the Chebe Magic, also from Curly and Free. This was not bad at all, but there was just something about the grapeseed fusion that just really left a mark on me. But this wasn't bad. I have the Texture ID Leave-In Conditioner that comes in a spray bottle that is absolutely empty. I really like this. Um, I was thinking of just buying this again when it was done, but I have a ridiculous list of spray leave-ins and other products that I want to get through so I'm not gonna let myself double dip just yet um, okay so this is a lavender scented shea butter from black girl long hair I gave this to my mom back last August before I left for school I left for school in August I just um, I guess pseudo graduated in May um, and I came home and it was only like right here. And I was like, mom, oh, it's my hamster, if you can hear that. I was like, mom, you didn't use it at all. And, she, and I was like, I'm just gonna finish it. So I it's can't even see that because it's so bright outside, but it's completely empty. And Black Girl Long Hair has a jar return policy. So I have one, two, three, four, five, empty and then I have a sixth one that I'm working on so basically you bring the empty jars back and then you get a discount off your um off your purchase if she has like a, a page on her website I'll link it below so that you can get more information on that but here's the lavender one here's the peppermint one just completely empty I think during my last empties this was almost 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 done in my backpack I was using this for hand lotion because and it took forever because this is gigantic and you only need so little. So this is the peppermint one. This is the, that's peppermint shea butter. This is grapefruit shea butter. This was probably one of my favorite scents so far. And then I have a cocoa butter. I'll always love the cocoa butter because it just smells like chocolate. This one, and then the second one that I'm working on is also a cocoa butter. And then I have the whipped mango butter. And I think I said in my last empties when I showed you this is that I don't like the mango butter. It just dissolves too quickly for it to actually be moisturizing. Um, I have a little EOS from Ernest & Young. They're one of the big four accounting firms. Um, I went to an accounting conference and they were giving out little things. It's pretty much done. It's so bright. And my EOS is pretty much done. You can't even see that. But it's... It's also gotten really dirty and I used it when I had makeup on so now it tastes like foundation and I just can't be bothered but it's pretty much done um, I have the Obia Naturals Cocoa Moisturizing Lotion it was great it was fine it's a small container and I I'm gonna apologize again just in case there's some overlap between this empties and the last empties there are some things that I'm saving for example, I will show you all of my liquid biotin things and all of my ritual vitamins just because I'm keeping those for an entire year. So you might see them again, but like just more of them. So, and then I finished my Garnier Skin Active Micellar Foaming Cleanser. I feel like I already showed you this, but that's okay. That's all right. We'll do it again. 
Um, I use this basically to shave, mostly. Um, I have this little baby, this Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. Once was like doing acrobatics at the top of her cage. Um, it's a moisturizer. It's very, very, very thick. I love this during the winter because I get really, really dry over the winter. So do a lot of us. And it just, I put it on in the morning and I just felt amazing. There's no other moisturizer that I have, um, other than like a shea butter that would do the same thing. So that was awesome. Let me see. I have the Clinique Fresh Pressed Daily Booster with pure vitamin C. I think I misspoke in my last video about this. Oh, it's so far away, but it popped. Okay. Um, this does not last a month. This is supposed to be used for a week, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. I think it's too expensive to be used only for a week because it's like $20. Um, when I was doing the review, I thought it was a month, and I was like, oh, $20 for a month supply makes sense, but I was wrong. This is very expensive. It's amazing, but it's very expensive. And then I have my Herbal Essences Hello Hydration. This is the second conditioner bottle. Um, completely empty. I like this stuff so far. This is the best conditioner to pre-poo with. I'm working on, I think it's the Garnier Honey Treasure, something like that. I think that's what it's called. That's what I'm working on now. And it's not as slippery as this, but it does smell good. Um, I'm thinking of... Okay, I should probably do a haul. I bought a bunch of like miscellaneous things that I need to do a haul about, um, even though I started using some of them. But I got a, a shampoo from, there's going to be a shampoo in that like haul that I'm going to do. That is incredible. And I think it has replaced my Crece Pelo shampoo. But the Crece Pelo conditioner is probably one of the best conditioners I've ever used. So I might see how that does as a pre-poo. So I'll update folks on that. And then, okay, so I've been trying um, natural deodorant. I don't know if I said that in another video, but I'm going to do a quick little story time for this. So I wanted to try uh, natural deodorant just because um, I like, I a lot of my body products are natural. Like I use a lot of shea butter and like just oils on my body. And I was like, well... Why don't I just find something natural for my armpits? So I was um, switching between, I think it was a Dove cucumber scent, and this, it's from the brand Humble, it's deodorant, and it's um, essential lavender and holy basil. Basically, it only has five ingredients. That's what it says on the back, and I'll just read it. Fractionated coconut oil, organic cornstarch, organic beeswax, all natural baking soda, and then essential lavender and holy basil oil. Technically that's six, but I'll group them together because it's just the scent. And I don't know if you can see, but it's like the last of the deodorant is up there and I can't get it out. Um, this stuff really just feels like you're slathering shea butter onto your armpits. I don't like the scent of this. This makes you smell like you use natural deodorant. Like you don't stink. It's just the lavender and the holy basil scent. The lavender and holy basil scent is not, not the move. It doesn't smell good. Um, so when I was going back and forth between my store-bought deodorant and this deodorant, everything was fine. And then I finished my store-bought deodorant, and I was so excited to finally just start using the natural deodorant. And my armpits got burnt. They got burnt. Like, right up here was just black and I was like what in the world happened it was working perfectly fine with my um when I was kind of going back and forth with the other deodorant but um I stopped using it for a while and then I just put like shea butter on my armpits and coconut oil on my armpits to kind of heal it and I didn't wear like regular deodorant for a while just the shea butter and the oil and um the darkness kind of went away my armpits started peeling it was gross it was nasty but I didn't smell which was really great. And then once I felt comfortable using it again, I only used it for on like really, really hot days or if I were to work out. Like I went to a, um, a trap yoga or an R&B yoga session and I used that deodorant. I was sweating up a storm and I didn't smell. And so that's what's really cool about this deodorant. Like it has a few ingredients, ingredients that you could literally just whip up yourself. 
but for me it works like it's obviously not an antiperspirant so you know if you sweat a lot in your armpits you're gonna do that anyway but I don't really sweat a lot in my armpits so it was really cool to see that I don't need store-bought deodorant anymore so I throw this on when it's really really hot or when I know I'm gonna be out all day I'm on a different scent I don't remember what it is I'll show you the other ones that I have when I finally do a a haul which probably won't happen until I get back from my internship we don't have time um, but this stuff is great and I'm really excited and I think I have fully switched over to this brand because the thing about a other um, natural deodorants they're like oh no zinc and I was like okay that's cool and then you look on the back and there's still like 20 ingredients or 15 ingredients or 10 ingredients and I'm like you guys still aren't that natural you just don't have the ingredient that a lot of people are concerned about um, I was at sorry this is a long story time I'll get back to whatever's left um sorry my eyes super itchy I was at Whole Foods not Whole Foods what is it called Wegmans I was at Wegmans in the deodorant section because I was trying to re-up on this they didn't have it because they're not hip um, and this dude this random Wegmans dude came next to me and he's like you know, you shouldn't use zinc in your deodorant. Me, 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 me. And I'm like, dude, I'm hip. You just picked up a deodorant with like 16 ingredients and a bunch of other shit that you don't even know about, but you're only happy because it doesn't have zinc. So I feel like people aren't really educating themselves about what they should and shouldn't be using in their skin products. They just kind of run with whatever they've been told. So like, yes, you shouldn't use zinc. You shouldn't use aluminum or... You should use like zinc free and aluminum free deodorants if it's something that bothers you and it's something that you care about. But there's other stuff that you probably should be looking out for. But people are just so quick to just say, oh, it doesn't have zinc, it doesn't have aluminum. It's a good deodorant. I'm like, really? No, that's not. Stop talking to me. Anyway, I have um, four bottles of, oh my god, ritual vitamins. I didn't even realize I had this many. Um, this is the first one that I ever got because it has like smudgies on the top from when I wrote first bottle. Here's one, here's two, oops, here's three, I just dropped one, here's four, and I'm on my fifth one. Um, you can't see it, it's on that table back there. Um, I'm on my fifth bottle and I feel good, I feel happier. I'm not going to attribute that to the vitamins, but I do think in general that I feel happier. Um, I haven't really been taking care of my skin, but it is glowy, which is nice. Um, let's see, what else do I have to say? I don't know if I have anything else to say because it's only been four and a half months since I've started them. I like them. I'll just say that. Um, and then my liquid biotin. I have this one that's completely empty and this one that's completely empty and then the one that I just finished yesterday, so I have three. So. I should mention that the liquid biotin takes a little longer to finish than the ritual. What are you doing? My hamster's like, she's crawling up to the top of her cage and then just letting go. She's doing that. Um, and so I have like, I guess for every one vitamin thing I use, I use like one and a half liquid vitamins, liquid biotin. And then I just have this little cute container that I got for my ritual vitamins um, it's just a cute little thing that they sent me that had stickers on it to track your um, progress which I thought was really cute and then on the back it just says like oh I don't know if you can read that yeah take your vitamins take your vitamins and this one has this on it progress 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 um, I just wanted to keep these because they're really cute and they're yellow and I really like yellow. Um, and then at the end of the year, if they send me any more of these, I would like to like do something cute with them. Um, I might show you guys my hamster because she's being loud and I think she's only out because I've been through hours. One second, I'll give you a second. So this is my little hammy. Her name is Peaches. If you see that on her ear, she is a lab hamster. She's number 381. Um, I worked in a animal behavior lab, well, it's for school, so I didn't like work work, but I was in an animal behavior lab, um, last semester, and this girl gave us six pups, so we didn't need her anymore, um, 
you know, to keep like the gene pool kind of diverse, if a hamster only already gave us six babies, we don't need any more from them. Um, so I adopted her. And her name is Peaches. Hey, Peachy. Um, and because she's not a pet hamster, they don't handle them. The first and the last time she was kind of handled was when she was sexed, when she was um, a baby. And that's not really like domesticating them. That's just finding out their gender or their sex. So I'm going to put her back. But yeah, this is my little baby. I've had her for like maybe a year or something. She turned a year back in January or February. Um... I love her. I adopted another hamster, a male, because he was getting really old, and his name was Mochi. He died very quickly, um, just because he was just so old. It started out as an empties video, now I'm showing you my hamster. That's how life goes. And you see how she's like just letting me handle her? When I first got her, all she did was bite me. That was all she did. So I've tamed her so far, and she doesn't mind being held. But if I have her out for too long, or if she just doesn't want to be out of her cage, she'll like nip me a little and then I know to put her back. And she loves seeds. I might do a video of her like eating seeds. Or maybe not. I don't know. But this is my hamster Peaches. She's the one who is making noise in the background. Alright. Bye.